Hi everyone, in this video I'm take a look at reimagining. Um, this is actually a special one because I moved to a new place, small one, but I wanted to use AI in order to think about ideas how to decorate the living room. But it's a very, very small, you're going to see it in a moment, and I have basically no ideas what to do. And right now there's a sofa that came with it and just a little chair and some junk, but I really wanted to have AI try to give me some suggestions how to improve it. So basically what uh, this website called Reimaging does is just that. Uh, you give an image, or you can use a pretty fine one, but of course I uh, wanted to make it functional, something useful for me, and finally I can use AI for something that is really useful. Sometimes I just use it, you know, things that I don't need and just enjoy it, but this is something that I really wanted uh, to well, benefit from. All right, so here you can see, by the way, the different things. You can do it both for indoors and outdoors. So the AI is trained for both of them and uh, it can give you ideas. It can actually also mask current available items, recognize them and just replace them with something else. It's pretty cool. You're going to see it in a moment, although I'm not going to give you a big house with lots of cool stuff, basically just a little living room. So yeah, that's the space. Very small. I tried to give it a vertical image. Well, it didn't work. I need to give it an horizontal image. Fine. Uh, well, that's what I did. Uh, after that, uh, when I upload the image, you can see that it's already masked. You're gonna see it. The white area is actually the area where you can you ask the algorithm to replace the content there, and everything that is not actually masked will stay in place. So I just put a few default things there. And I'm gonna show you. you can have your text input and some predefined inputs. On the drop-down, you can choose the type of place, for example, and you're going to give different results on the right. So you can see here there are different options. Now it's on keys. I, I want the living room, but these are the different options. And if you look at the bottom left, you can see the mask. It already recognizes the sofa and the thing there on the left. Uh, so basically, it will just uh, replace those specific things with other designs uh, instead of so just the sofa and the thing there rather than everything else but you can override it and choose something yourself now you can also give text input which is very important uh, the text input is useful when you want to for example if you do something outdoors you want to have a pool you need to tell the ai that you want a pool otherwise you will just generate things that maybe you know you need to give hints basically you can also uh, use colors to tell which colors you actually prefer uh, yeah, not a lot of options, although they're actually working to improve it. I'm going to show you uh, more about this later. Uh, and you can just continue and generating new images. Now, let's take a look at the masking options, because I told you that you can, for example, I just wanted to change the entire room. I didn't want the algorithm to give me something uh, that replaces just the sofa and the thing on the left. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though, but I wanted something else. So if you go to the bottom, uh, you can choose the option to mask it yourself. You gotta get a brush. And you can kind of roughly go over the areas uh, that you allow the AI to override. And this is basically, I'm gonna speed it up. So this is basically um, every, almost everything except the, the window there, but still you will take into consideration the room design, uh, but then I mean the room structure. And you can see there are different options now, and some of them are really nice. Some of them actually not that accurate, but you know, when I look back at, at the uh, at the at the living room and I told myself, "Oh my God, how it looks like now!" Uh, but of course, some of them will be maybe a bit more expensive creatively to make. And that actually led me idea if there was an option to add some budget, and then you can bring out for some. Uh, you know, maybe an API for maybe Amazon and try to fit things based on different things that you can actually really buy. So again, the idea is to try to uh, use some of the, even make it locally, you know, things stored that are local to you based on your area. Take everything into consideration and give you ideas, you know, exactly how much something costs, uh, different options. Maybe if you just want to change the couch, uh, you're going to get drop down. You can choose different couch to actually fit that particular size. The different ways you can, of course, with AI, alongside other commercial websites, we can actually integrate and give you really 
cool way to really customize uh, the thing is and of course looking at the cost as well now of course when you give a uh, text it won't be very accurate so if i say something like uh, pack or t inch tv 50 inch t something like that it won't actually help it uh, that's why we need more fine-tuned ways to you know help the ai to actually do that so of course it's pretty rough but if you want something that give you kind of a cool creative ideas what well, you're going to find this will really plentiful of uh, using this tool uh, but if you want something more uh, for, uh, practical uh, and both creative and practical uh, this needs a bit more work but I did play with it I played with different colors uh, to see how things look like uh, and the cool thing is again it's in terms of inspiration it's amazing because it generates some really cool things so one of the cool things about it is that you can just go crazy with different inputs and with it. the idea is to find something really unique and fun and interesting uh, but again for me i need something that's also you know practical so i can know you know if i see a really great couch where i can actually find it <laughs> uh, some will maybe go to a designer and say well make something like that but i need something that i can actually purchase and know where i can purchase and i also want to know the price it actually will be pretty cool if you say a budget for example and you let AI just for this budget use all the different APIs for different commercial stores and just create something with that based on your input for your budget. I mean, that would be super cool. Now, even if you don't have the extra things here, still, it's really nice to see, get ideas because then you know what you want. For example, a specific sofa, a specific orientation, a specific color that can actually match. I mean, that can be really cool. Uh, maybe you know, coloring the walls in different colors. So it gives you an idea, you know, said because sometimes when you go into a specific room, you're confused, you have no idea where to start. And, you know, just start refreshing, generating more uh, images and say, oh, this is something that I like. You save it. Of course, you want something to AI to save so you can create maybe a list in the future and you add your favorites and you can take all your favorites into account. Uh, you know, for example, you like this specific sofa and you like this specific uh, uh, chair. Uh, and the wall design and you're going to say and it will use your favorites in order to generate it doesn't exist right now but i'm saying it's going to be a really good idea uh, that for example was pretty cool because i really i didn't think about well having shelves like that can be really nice and wow i said wow, i like this idea it looks actually pretty cool here actually breaks the you see this is a mistake it actually breaks the wall it's not supposed to be like that but again i didn't give a good angle uh, yeah maybe give you more information or entire video of the apartment yeah and you can just walk through a 3d model everything generated and of course it would be amazing if we have it in augmented reality and, yeah of course but this is just what it does right now but of course with more complementary technologies it would be way way more fun and better yes yeah, so overall it was really fun experimenting with this and by the way there are new features coming all right so let's take a look uh visual staging of an empty space uh, using text input to furnish an empty space with virtual furniture and decor elements, which is great. Generating design using inspiration photo. You can bring a photo that you really like and you could get inspired by that. How cool is that? I mean, this is crazy. I mean, how many times we were actually in different places, we've seen some really great, you know, uh, uh, decoration, furniture, and you say, wow, I wish I had something like that. So it can use that. and incorporated into the generation uh, change architectural features for improvement user will have the ability to select and make changes for specific architectural elements such as walls windows this is a must all right this is a must to have this is crazy so make it more modular the generation more modular very important uh, eternal change for furnishing user will have the capability to redesign their spaces on element by element basis crazy a must a enhancement, uh, denoise and upscale in design with voice. So you don't actually need this probably will be great with AR glasses. We can just move around your apartment and interact with the AI, tell them what to do. That's be like the ultimate theme. We can just say, all right, I want to replace the wall, change the wall color. You see the uh, sofa there? I want to change the sofa. Uh, I want the sofa oriented. I want to have a TV 40 inch there on the wall. Just speak with AI and it will automatically do this on the fly i mean this is just would be amazing especially with air glasses where you can just you know see it as you walk through the apartment of course with depth scan and everything not just images right so 
of course, taking it to the next level would be crazy. Now we're dealing with images, which can be cumbersome and slow, but imaging with AR glasses, when you move inside the environment, with depth scan everything, it'd be super accurate and can suggest things from a other commercial uh, website based on budget, based on everything. It just would be crazy. All right, so think about saying like, let's say I have like $5,000 budget. I want to buy from Amazon. Uh, I'm locating in the US uh, and you know, and you say some suggestions based on that. You can provide, of course, images or videos and we just use everything all together with your favorite things in order to generate your space. Crazy stuff. And that's about it for this video. I hope you find this one inspiring. I definitely, as for now, it gave me some suggestions, but I really wanted more because right now, again, in terms of functionality, I'm probably gonna go to, uh, to IKEA and uh, find things uh, to use. <laughs> just to, so I can start functioning. But definitely a cool idea and give me some ideas, for example, like the shelves that I'm probably gonna use and other things, but, and, and colors. So yeah, really, really cool app. But of course, we can expect things to be much, much better in the future. And that's about it for this video. Give a like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Cheers.